little bit more movie news before we uh, wrap up here. We have got some interesting, interesting Spider-Man news that you and I speculated on um, back all the way back in episode two months ago when we were just starting. Um, Mm -hmm. This comes from that hashtag show. Um, I wasn't familiar with this prior, um, but I believe they broke the story. And since then, I've seen it a couple other places, too, that I I trust and I tend to get, you know, my my movie news and my sources. Um, They had an exclusive story or yeah, story that Sony and Marvel are splitting Spider-Man into two separate franchises of yours truly, Peter Parker and Miles Morales. So who's going to get what? I know. I feel like it's like the. I don't know. It, it's it's really weird. It's I feel like, like mom and dad are going to start fighting again. Like that's like that's the. I hope. What's, what's I hope even worse is that the kids are going to be deal. separated too. Jesus. I just hope they work out a deal and that everything is fine. Which, from what we've heard, they are fine now. And they're whatever happened before with like Sony not wanting to give up the rights, but Spider, but you know, Spider Man was in the MCU, and you can't just like forget he was there. I hope they got all of that figured out and ready to go um but yeah so basically <sighs> okay so from what i got right there in that title it says like miles rouse is headed to the mcu i'm almost certain what's going to happen is that peter parker is going to go back to sony and then uh miles rouse is, is going to come to the mcu yeah. i don't know how i don't know how again at this point i'm like you know how we usually can make like a a theory because they're in their studio this is like out of the ballpark because like it's coming from two different mm-hmm. studios like one could take the other so it's kind of hard to see like where it's gonna go so like i don't know i don't know how miles Morales is gonna come into play he's le- he's never been introduced except for you know uh childish gambino's like mention of him but i'm just like i i i, I don't know how this is gonna pan out i'm well, not gonna lie there were a couple of interesting things that, that came out of this article. Uh, <clears throat> um, they seem to be pretty confident in the fact that we are set to see the Spider-Verse and that that is going to happen. We've said that for, I mean, literally since last December, you know, when it was rumored that Sony was going to drop that preview and then they didn't. Um, and then Sony Brazil or wherever it was had said like, your Christmas gift from Marvel is going to be all three Spider-Mans in the same movie or something like that. Um, there, there's going to be a Spider-Verse in some form. Um, but a couple of interesting things that hit me. You know, they, they bring up that Spider-Man Homecoming made $880 million. Far From Home made $1.1 billion. They're not going to lose money over Spider-Man. There is no scenario where Marvel or Sony loses money over this property so i almost wonder if they're doing this because they know how much of a money maker it is and they're they've worked out this deal because now like you know with into the spider-verse like the animated film Mm -hmm. and how well that did i think that that kind of sparked this idea of like well i guess we need to get miles morales in there I still like what we had talked about in episode two, where you have, you know, homecoming far from home and now no way home, which is like the, the high school years. So there's your high school trilogy. Then you have the college trilogy and then you have an adult trilogy. And I'm almost, I'd be fine with waiting to introduce Miles until either the college trilogy or the adult trilogy. I think that would make a little bit more sense story-wise. But again, they bring up something kind of interesting too, is that Tom Holland's getting older. I mean, he's going to be 25 this year. Um, John Watts, who's been directing the Spider-Man movies, he's been hired to direct Fantastic Four, which I know we're still a little bit out from that. They're just now, you know, we learned a few weeks ago, they are, um, they're just now beginning to like, find writers to draft a script they don't even have a script for fantastic four yet um but you know that'll be a big project for him but my thing with john watts leaving the spider-man franchise as the director 
you have Sam Raimi. Think about this. You have Sam Raimi, who's already directed three Spider-Man movies. Keep that in mind, because he did the Tobey Maguire trilogy. He's directing the Multiverse of Madness. You could bring Sam Raimi in to direct the next... Hell, you could do the next six Spider-Man movies with him. If, if he's willing to, which I think he would be, especially with the Spider-Verse happening and Toby and Andrew coming back, I think he would be down to do that. Don't you? I don't think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Sam Raimi did a great job with the old Spider-Man trilogy. Oh, hell. But, sorry. <laughs> but, um... What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, that was me catching... That was like me again choking on this beer. But, uh with John Watts leaving and uh, I mean, Spider-Man, how old was a uh, Toby Maguire when Spider-Man came out? But then again, that was like during his college years, I guess if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I'd say he was in his mid twenties, late twenties, yeah. maybe. And Sam Raimi did Spider-Man in high school, Spider-Man in college and Spider-Man graduated. I think that makes sense to me. Yeah. But this kind of maybe puts a wrench in that a little bit. Um, I mean, they go on to say, we have exclusively learned that Marvel and Sony will take Tom Holland's Spider-Man franchise and spin off a separate Miles Morales Spider-Man franchise, which means splitting it in two. They're splitting those rights in two. And, you know, they're saying, their sources are saying that they're going to, Miles is going to be in the MCU. You know, you're not going to have Tom Holland's Peter Parker in the MCU and Miles Morales in the Sony-verse, you know especially with the multiverse happening. And I, I think we're going to start seeing them cross, um, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're both going to be in the MCU. The other thing that really interested me was that miles will be a part of the young Avengers. Fair. I get that. That, yeah, that's interesting. Do you, do you think, what do you think the chances are of the next Avengers film being a young Avengers film? Probably not. I think that would be a, its own separate movie. If that makes sense, because the only yeah. young adventure that they have is, well, hell, it's Peter Parker and Miles yeah. Morales. I would agree but with that. With, uh, I, I think it's. I think that's thinking too small for the next Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you got to yeah. think Endgame, leaving off at Endgame versus a Young Avengers movie. I don't know. It wouldn't. I don't think it'd be as interesting. No, not at all. And you but, have people like. Nova coming, which if they're going to do yep. the young Nova and then the Miss Marvel, that could happen. Because everyone else has been introduced that's new in regards to being a superhero already, like decently, like, you know, they're like, they're like, they're mid age, I guess, if that makes sense. Right, right, There's right, many right. young, young uh, superheroes in there yet. So, like, mm-hmm. they would have to build that first. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. Um, they also said another interesting tidbit here is that they've heard reports that Spider-Man 4 will film back-to-back with No Way Home. Um, You know, when they go on to say they've yet to corroborate it, you know, who knows? Um, That's interesting, too. Again, where where are they going moving forward? I I think that's going to be the key, is where where do you go after No Way Home? If you really establish the Spider-Verse, what's after that? How do you how do you top that? And that's going to be their, their issue. And I, I, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe throwing miles into the mix is their way of trying to top that. You know what I mean? I don't think miles is going to have a big role in no way home. If he is in no way home, I don't think he'll have a really large role because I, I that'd be weird to me. Like, you know, throwing Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield in, we have an emotional connection to those characters into those actors playing those characters yeah so that's going to be a big deal for us but throwing miles in with a new actor that we've never gotten a live action adaptation of it would be kind of strange you know what i mean it'd be weird but it's uh, anticipated everyone's down for it i'm yeah, ready to see miles morales i'm curious to see who they're gonna play yeah i i feel that um they also go on at the end of the article to say that both marvel and sony are worried about having two spider-man francis franchises um and they don't want to confuse you know the general audience members um which is why what, what, they do, they, what do they think the general audience is dumb nah they, they're gonna know the difference obviously i don't know i mean i have i have no idea 
Couldn't tell you. Yeah. I think I think this I want to see Miles Morales. I do. But they just gotta plan that out like far in advance, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like you said in the first like the first one of our like first episodes, like you you, you need to let Miles like grow up so we can become attached to him. Right. So if that we're hyped to see him get the powers. If they're gonna throw him in, he doesn't need to have powers in No Way Home. And if he does get powers, he needs to get it like in a post credit scene. They don't need I don't think they need to spend a big chunk of No Way Home showing Miles because that's not no offense to that character. That's not what they're that's not what what we're there for. You know what I mean? At least for yeah. me. That's not what I would that's not what I'm waiting for. Yeah, exactly. 